coach, hard fought draw, obviously not the end result you want with them getting that goal late, but overall, what were your impressions of the game against a very good opponent? Yeah, disappointing to be honest with you. You know, we've we've been in those situations before and uh, you know, who's ever on the park, we've, we've got to be able to complete the match. And that's the big thing that we talk about all the time is completion. Um, look, we, I thought our second half was good. We worked hard. We were a lot more dangerous. Um, look, that's a very good team. Um, but at the end of the day, we should get a result there, you know, and there's no overtime anymore, obviously. So, you know, we took a goal late, 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 and we've trained that situation before many times. But at the end of the day, uh, the kids fought hard. They're gutted right now, just like the coaching staff is. But uh, look, we got to lick our wounds and we got to get ready to go play another game. We can't, we can't dwell on that. We can work on it and correct it. Um, but at the end of the day, we got, we got matches ahead of us and so we got to go win games. Now, SMU, they had some chances early in the first half, but Megan was able to come through with some big saves. What have you seen from her development throughout the season as her first year as a primary goalkeeper? Yeah, I mean, Megan's done very, very well for us, you know. I mean, she's she's kept us in games. She's made some big saves. Um, you know, she continues to get better. Uh, there's a lot more trust in the team um, with her. Um, so she's she stepped up. She's our, she's our go-to goalkeeper right now. So, um, you know, she did make a couple good saves in the first half for us. Uh, Kaya getting that goal, I believe, in like the 70th minute or so. What, what would you see in that? How the preparation and the offensive attack there to set up the opportunity? Yeah, I mean, you know, we just we had a dark, we talked about it at halftime. We had to do the right things. We were playing underneath too much. You know, they were stepping in front. As soon as we started playing balls in behind them, um, you know, we got a lot of pace up front. We got a lot of skillful one v one players. Um, I thought we stretched them out and um, create a lot more chances once we got them behind them and so forth. A lot more isolation one v one play. Um, and I, I knew that as the game went on, we, we were going to get one. You know what I'm saying? So um, one wasn't enough today, though. Big week on the road ahead up in SoCal. What are you looking forward to to getting the team on the road and getting opportunities playing away from Negoesco? Yeah, we've just got to get regain our focus, you know, because our kids are shattered right now because of, uh, you know, giving a goal up in the final two, three minutes of the match. But, you know, that's soccer. You know, the game, the season is so short, you can't be down too long because you got to pick yourself up and go play again. Go back and do the things and remember the good things that you did out there um, and go out and score some more goals. You know what I'm saying? So, um, look, it's, it's a little bit of a bitter one right now and we've had three draws now and I think all three of those draws, we probably should have won all three of those games. We were up 1-0 against Cal. You know, we, we gave up a goal against Oregon and we had many, many chances and then obviously we, we gave up a goal in the final three minutes today. But in saying that, um, you know, we've got to learn from it. We've got to get better. Uh, and we got to finish some more chances on the offensive side of it too um, to give our defense a little bit of, you know, cut them a little slack and so forth.